Hey everybody, it's Tammy from SketchUp for Interior Designers, and I've been getting a lot of questions lately about sloped ceilings. In the past, I released a uh, YouTube video about ang adding an angled roof, adding an angled ceiling. That was one method. I wanna show you today a slightly different method that will work better in some cases. So this method includes bringing the walls up and chopping away what you don't need. So this bathroom right here already has eight foot ceilings. I'd like to add an angle so that I can add a clear story, a window set all the way across this wall here. So what I'd like to do is uh, leave the right hand side over here at eight feet and slope upwards to the top being at 10 feet. So I'm gonna double click into my wall group here and I've got a lot of dark uh, textures, so sometimes it's easier to switch to monochrome. I can either click this icon here or go to View, Face Style, Monochrome. And that'll just help me see my walls a little bit better. All right, so like I said, I'm already at eight feet, so I'm just gonna drop a guideline here by double clicking with my tape measure tool. Now I'm gonna measure from the floor up 10 feet. And I'll just go ahead and pull my walls. Just go ahead and go past that. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be right at 10 feet. It can go past it. We're gonna chop it away anyway. So now that I've got my marker eight foot, 10 foot, I'm going to draw the slope from 10 feet down to eight feet, intersection to intersection. And that should split these two faces. So now I'm gonna chop away what I don't need, which is this top piece. So P for push-pull, click and release, and move it across. Um, push it all the way back to the back face so that it deletes. And now we've got our slope there. So now I can just go ahead and either continue this face here, or sorry, this, uh, this edge here, moving at the same angle, or if you want it to be flat, like I do in a lot of cases, I'll just draw a line right across the axis there. Same thing here, draw a line, whoops, excuse me, either flat or you can continue on that slope. So in this case, I think I'll just go ahead and keep it sloped on this side, just to give you an idea of what it's like on this side versus a flat over here. So the flat one, I can just hit P for push pull and push this all the way across to the other end, and it should delete that face. This one is gonna stay sloped, and I'll have to pick it up and set it down at each point here. It gets hung up on those until I reach the end. All right, so now I've got this wall. I'd like to carry on the slope that's here, um, and instead of drawing a line from here to here and just kind of trusting it, I can grab another tape guideline here and using this same slope, I'm gonna click and release and tap my left arrow key to lock that into the green axis. And then I'll click and release to set it down. Now I can draw my line right along that, that, uh, that guideline that I just created for myself, making sure that I'm going from endpoint to endpoint or intersection to intersection. Because I drew a line, it healed this face. I don't need it, so I'm gonna delete it. I'm gonna add my roof in as a separate group. And now I can push pull and carry on with that angle. Again, I'm gonna grab my tape guideline, hit my left arrow key, and make sure that I carry on that same angle all the way across, just so I don't give myself any troubles. Now, I do trust my own geometry, so I could have just you know, gone from endpoint to endpoint at this point here. P for push pull and push away what I don't need. Now it did create a few extra faces. Um, it's just trying to help us out, but in, in this case we don't need it. So I'm just gonna use my eraser tool, making sure I don't accidentally erase something that I'd like to keep. All right, so now I can clean this up using my eraser tool. I can turn on my back edges with the letter K, turn those off again, and I can continue to clean up anything that I don't need including those edges there. All right, I'm gonna hop out of this group, get rid of my guidelines and turn my textures back on. 
and see how I'm doing. So now I've got an, a 10 foot tall ceiling on the left, I can add in my windows. And over here on the right, I'm at eight feet. So this method is just pulling your walls up, cutting away what you don't need with the push-pull tool.